grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I commend the Republican Party for ending the transatlantic slave trade. April 7, 1862, President Lincoln's Secretary of State, William Seward, signed a treaty with the British ambassador. It committed the navies of both nations to patrol the African coast and intercept any ships carrying slaves or equipped for that purpose. Within weeks, the Senate of the GOP-controlled 37th Congress ratified the agreement. Importation of slaves having already been banned by the U.S. government, this endeavor focused on Latin America. More than a hundred slave ships were captured with the prisoners returned to Africa. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.